We start with breaking news. KHOU 11 has just gotten new video from inside Lakewood Church at the moment of yesterday's shooting. Plus, three independent sources telling us that 36-year-old Hennessy Moreno is the armed woman who fired multiple rounds and was then killed by off-duty officers. We've been working around the clock since the news broke yesterday afternoon. And this just in, investigators tell us the child who was shot in all of this sustained critical injuries and authorities are unsure if he will survive. Good afternoon. I'm Shun Min Chow. Right now, our team coverage continuing as Ogochi Iloka is in a Conroe neighborhood near a home connected to the shooting. And Victor Hokobo is live outside of Lakewood Church with the newest details. Victor, let's start with you. You've got a longer look at that new video. Yeah, that's right, Sherman. These are some harrowing video we are seeing of the moments when those gunshots first rang out in this first video. The people who took the video are in that main part of the church where the service takes place. You're able to make out the sound of gunshots in the background and see the chaos that ensues. The shots rang out just minutes before the Spanish language service was set to begin at Lakewood. You could hear people in the video saying, calm down, calm down, in an effort to avoid further chaos as people run for cover. We also got another video that shows people running out of the service and police officers running towards the direction of gunfire. Here is that moment. All that chaos caught on video. These are new perspectives we are learning about today, and we're also learning more about the alleged shooter today. Three independent sources confirmed to KHOU's investigative reporter Jeremy Rogowski that the identity of the suspect is 36-year-old Hennessy Ivan Moreno. Moreno also went by Jeffrey Escalante in the past. She has previous arrests for several crimes, including unlawful carrying a weapon. Now, here at Lakewood, just within the last hour, we saw Pastor Joel Austin drive up and arrive and enter Lakewood Church here again just within the last hour. The investigation into the shooting also continues. We're expecting an update from Houston police later this afternoon at 1.30. Meanwhile, another investigation happening in Conroe into a home that is believed to be connected to the shooting. My colleague Ugochi Iloka has been covering that in the overnight hours. Ugochi, what can you tell us? Yeah, Victor, we just got the search warrant for the shooter's home within the last 30 minutes. Now, Houston police say the Lakewood Church shooter stays at, did stay at this home, lived here off of Gulfstream Drive. A car actually just pulled up here live, as you can see. Uh, after this report, we'll see what we can find out. A woman walking in the house now. Now, it states the search warrant authorities had reason to believe guns, ammunition, and explosive materials were in the house after the shooter made threats of having a bomb at the church. We're going through that search warrant right now. Three independent sources confirmed to KHU 11. The 36-year-old Genesee Moreno, also known as Jeffrey Escaliente, in the past walked inside Lakewood Church on Sunday with a long rifle and started shooting. Federal agents were spotted in this Conroe neighborhood last night searching the house where the shooter stayed. Our cameras were rolling when Moreno's car was towed outside the home just within the last couple of hours. HPD says Moreno was shot and killed by two off-duty officers yesterday and a child as young as five with her was shot in the crossfire along with a man. Back at the scene of the home, one neighbor describes how long this street was blocked off by law enforcement agencies. I think it was for about two hours before I finally was able to come home, which was really scary because my wife was here with our kiddo, but no one was telling me what was going on. Why are there all these police officers here? Yeah, as for that child shot, uh, within the last 30 minutes, we did check uh, that child is still in critical condition in the hospital, that young boy still fighting for his life. We also just learned uh, from authorities that that child sustained very severe injuries, and it's unsure, really unclear right now, if that child will survive. So obviously several people pulling 
for this child to make it through. Um, and we are still working to find out the shooter's connection to the child in the hospital currently. Reporting live in Conroe, Ugochi Iloka, KHOU 11 News. All right. Thanks, Ugochi. Still a lot of questions. And as mentioned, Houston police will have an update on this investigation in about 90 minutes at 1.30. So hopefully we'll get some more answers. We will take that news conference live on air and on KHOU.com. A lot to unpack with this shooting. Be sure you've got our app downloaded for the latest updates.